Mmm, so clean you can eat it. This is how nasty that is. Okay, now we put it in, right? <laughs> wow, did somebody say shoes? <gasps> me today we're gonna be trying out some dumb hacks that are supposed to work but you see I will be the judge of that you know I was so busy dancing with my maracas and appropriating culture Ashley has no time to make guacamole so this is supposed to be a sick guac hack put everything you need to make guac in a plastic baggie and just smoosh that bad boy up oh it's like a guac tube mmm <gasps> you're telling me that mustache wasn't real I don't know if I can trust her we're gonna have to try this out. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be making some bag of moldy. See what I like to do? Oh heck. This one's old. I just bought that. Please don't fail me. Oh my god, this one has some brown too. See, I don't, I'm not trying to do any dishes. So we're just gonna take it, squeeze it, squeeze this one too. Where's my new one? I bought this today, so it should be perfect. I'm gonna take it and squeeze it open. Okay, this one's perfect. Wow! I got it from Whole Foods too. How are y'all gonna do me like this? Anyways, I was sure these would have been perfectly right. Oh, I already squeezed down most of it. That wasn't supposed to happen. We're supposed to be mashing it. I cut up some onion before. I'm gonna put that in. Some dried up cilantro. Mmm, why do you smell like tea leaves? Salt and pepper. Lime. Okay, we're gonna need a knife for this one. Ugh, that's a hard lime to squeeze. She ain't juicy like the other lime. Okay, this is the best part. Mash it all up. Oh, this is so easy. Ooh, I'm gonna press the air out of it. Oh my god, it guacamole is so easy. Bro, this is actually a really good hack. Wait, now we taste it. Bring all of the guac to one side. Where are my dang tortilla chips? We're going to have to use these. Come on. I need to make a bigger hole. Not enough. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. This is some next level dipping right here. Yeah. Delicious. This is honestly the best way to make guac. Just make sure you like squeeze it good though. Waste no avocado. You hate it when you leave your bag of chips unattended and then your idiot friend literally takes a seat. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a pillow. Wow, how could you? My bag of chips ruined. So take your crushed up bag of chips. Oh, we got cheese, tomato, onions, egg. Shake it up really good. Put it in a pot of boiling water for 10 minutes. And it's made a burrito. Oh, they cut it up into pieces and then dipped it into ketchup. Bro, this is a bag of chips. What happened? Evolution happens. I'm not gonna lie, this looks delicious. I will be severely disappointed if this doesn't work. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? No. Oh, I'm shit. just trying to see your butt. No, they're ruined now. Wait. Ow, stop. <laughs> Perfect! The chips are all crunched up. All right, take your butt chips, break them up a little more. We had corn from before, and I'm just gonna put some of it in. Gonna put some more cilantro, some egg. I cracked this egg before, and I put it in the fridge. I don't know if it's gonna be good. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna put some cheese. I like the Mexican shredded kind. More onions. By the way, I did another hack video on my second channel where I prepared a lot of this food. And then we're gonna mash this bad boy up. Hey, do you wanna sneak a peek? Should look like that. And we're gonna put it in our pot of boiling water. Oh man, I can't wait for this. I hope this doesn't like burn it. My dude, can you like chill in there? Okay, we gonna let it cook. I'm terrified because it's gonna like burn. My house is gonna set on fire. Eventually. I have been boiling this for a good 20 minutes because I checked on it in 10 minutes and it didn't look anywhere near done and it has eggs in it and I wanted to make sure it was like cooked thoroughly because your girl ain't getting salmonella for a hacks video, okay? It smells delicious. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh my God, I'm excited, hold on. Camera, please. Oh my god, I'm freaking out because we actually have a burrito looking thing here. Glorious! It looks like some of it didn't cook. Like the bottom part over here, I'm not sure how well that cooked. But look, look at that. It's like an omelet. She thick. You telling me this is made of potato chips? Okay, time to bone apple my teeth because this looks bomb and it smells so good. Okay! 
What's it? Mmm, the corn, delicious. Glad I added that. All right, it just does need ketchup though. You would think potato chips are salty, but this needs salt. Got the ketchup. Oh, let's make let's make it fancy. Oh my god, you guys didn't even see that. I tried to do it all cute, and it wasn't on camera. Okay. Mmm. Delicious with ketchup. Mmm. I am very impressed with this one. It's like a sous vide burrito. Fancy. Now I can sleep good tonight knowing that this hack actually worked. Oh, you absolute animal. Someone take this hyena back to the zoo. Oh, oh no. No. Hide your keyboards, y'all. Bro, even I'm not that messy when I eat. She's like, you know what? You're gonna be laughing at me and my cracker crumbs. Give me your slime. I'm gonna show you a cool trick. Oh. Oh, okay, congratulations. Now you have slime stuck in the crevices of your keyboard instead of crumbs. Here you go. It's crunchy now. Bone apple teeth. I feel like there's a better way to do this. Mm. Stop. What is she doing? Want some? No, I don't. Oh, no. Look at the mess. That's fine because I know how to clean it up. Let me just go make some slime real quick. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow, it's actually cleaning, but I mean, it's uh, leaving I, I don't behind. know if I I'll go buy a new one. Thanks. Oh, it's leaving behind slime juice. Oh, mm, stop. Delicious. Is this how you make crunchy slime? Good as new. Look at that. Bro, well, you know what? This is how nasty that is. Okay, now we put it in, right? So you can add milk to soda and it will make it transparent. Bro, I wonder what this tastes like. Does all like the flavor go to the top and the bottom? What does this forbidding Coke juice taste like? Okay, I don't have a bottle of soda, so we're gonna take this mini can of Dr. Pepper because that's all I have in this household. We're gonna put it into this larger bottle, this very, very, very large bottle. There we go, how much soda you should drink if you're gonna drink any at all. And then milk, how much milk do we put in? I'm not sure. I like my Coke extra milky. Then do we just shut it? Do we shake it? Bro, this ain't no Mentos challenge. Oh, it's like a nice bubble tea color. It actually looks delicious. I know this is gonna taste disgusting, but the whole point of me doing this is I want to know what it tastes like. Soda milk, a delicacy where I'm from. Don't hate, you probably have never tried it. Okay, I am waiting for the color to go away. Do I shake it? Does it not work with Dr. Pepper? I don't know why I go into these videos like expecting everything to work and nothing works, especially not the ones I really want to work. Another disappointment. Smash like if relatable. <laughs> A few moments later. Ten minutes later we're still here does it only work with coke it didn't work for me or my dr pepper jokes on you guys i'm gonna try it that actually tastes pretty good like it tastes like a cream soda <laughs> i feel dirty drinking it though <laughs> Okay, this hack is for the super incompetent. You know what, toaster, too advanced for me. We're gonna do this the good old fashioned way, like we did in the 1800s. Make a grilled cheese and wrap it up in foil. We're gonna take the clothing iron and just press it down. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am, you got a perfectly toasted grilled cheese, ma'am. Oh, that looks too good to be true. Or you could just put it in the microwave. You know, all I'm trying to figure out is a situation where you have bread and cheese and no other form of heat but a clothing iron. So this just does not make sense to me. We're gonna be using half a slice of bread because my gluten-free bread is like $9 a bag. Wow, imagine charging more because you have an allergy. Okay, gonna use sharp cheddar. Slap that bad boy on. It ain't pretty, but if it's a grilled cheese, it'll be good, okay? Here goes nothing. Okay, y'all see that steam? It's steaming up. Oh, that's getting toasty. Woo! Bro, this is like a design fail. It's like steam burned my hand. Ironing clothes is the one thing I don't know how to do. Because when my mom tried to teach me when I was a kid, I burned myself immediately right away. And it was traumatizing and I never went near one of these again. Until now, I bought it for a hacks video after avoiding these things for so long. Oh, she toasty. She toasty. Let's do the other side. You no know, high hopes for this one. She working overtime to make me my grilled cheese. I'm sorry my ancestors have hurt you in the past. Okay, that looks pretty smushed and toasty. Are y'all ready for the final reveal? Grilled cheese reveal. The cheese ain't even melted. It was hot for nothing. You can't even melt cheese. Bro, this sucks. Top 
10 easiest things to melt and it still can't do that. We clear in our nasal passage with all the steam. I live in literally the driest state. Okay. <gasps> the cheese is melted. I see melted cheese. Oh, why is it sticking? One side of it is slightly melted. Oh God, the other side of the bread is still cold. Imagine failing that hard. Like half the bread is still cold. But all the smoke for what? Literally 10 seconds in my microwave would have done a better job than this. All right, I'm, I'm ready to eat. I don't care if you're done or not. I am ready to eat my grilled cheese. It's barely melted. Some of it's still cold. I think this just sucks, okay? In theory, it should work. It's like slightly warm cheese bread. I'm so hungry that I'm okay with this. Look, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for five seconds. Look at that cheese. Not melted, right? Look! Ow! Y'all see that? Now that's what I call a grilled cheese, okay? See, it's actually melted. You think it's for you? Do you seriously think it's for you? That cheese about to go. Fight! For it. Oh, now I clearly know who the idiot is. Mmm. Now that's a grilled cheese. Delicious. Do you love eating but hate doing dishes? We all take the glove. Glue pieces of sponge on it. Oh. So you can just like mm, 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 mm. squeaky clean at your fingertips. So the dollar store actually sells a stack of the tops of sponges. So I can make this in any color. I think I'm gonna do green. <laughs> and we're just gonna cut strips. Ain't nobody got time for hot glue, so I'm just gonna super glue it because I have some on Oh god, that's a lot. All over them fingers. Yes. Okay, let's try not to glue the fingers together. Oh, it's like super glue isn't even working on these. Oh, do we have to use hot glue? Bro, I really gotta bust out my glue gun for this. Oh, I got two fingers in one hole. Oh my god, I'm getting super glue all over my countertop. Ah! Oh, my eyes are burning. My hands are sticking. Okay, that didn't work. Don't use super glue. You no shortcut. Or you know what you can do? Use the dang sponge. Thank you. I think I'm gonna wear these shoes. Oh, they so dang crusty and musty. Oh, the rich kids at school are gonna bully me. So take some toothpaste. That's like a week's worth of toothpaste. And just scrub that bad boy with a toothbrush. Wipe it off. Oh, squeaky clean. Yeah, don't say. Nice. On my way to not get bullied today. Do the shoes have a toothpaste preference? The whitening kind? Perhaps charcoal? I don't know, I kind of take care of my shoes. Just kidding, I wear shoes that don't really scuff. But these have a couple of scuffies on them, okay? I've only worn these inside. So I got some toothpaste, pop that bad boy right on. Bro, it's been a long day. Of course I get it on the fabric. Okay, that's a lot of toothpaste for what we're trying to clean. Clean the whole shoe. You know, even if this doesn't work, at least it'll smell minty fresh. Oh, what's that I smell? A hack that actually works. A rare scent to behold. Oh God, I just ruined that completely. Make sure the toothpaste does not touch the fabric. Cause that just ruined them. What, is that it? I would feel gross having toothpaste on my shoes. Wow, the scuffs are completely gone. Okay, but I'm gonna rinse this off because I still feel like it's dirty because it's gonna be sticky because it has toothpaste on it still. Like all I did was wipe it off. I don't like sticky. Wow. Too many shoes for your shoe rack? Bro, this is me, but I'll still wear the same sandals with socks every single day. Okay, so you can make a stand using your shoe boxes. Okay, I think that looks horrible, but okay. What am I gonna do with all these shoes? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait and see. Oh, are you making your display case? Yeah. No, it's it's gonna fall. I'll show you. you probably put the biggest one on the bottom. Bro, look at this DIY skills right here. Except when you take out a shoe too fast and it all comes crumbling down. It's like a dollhouse. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, this is actually pretty cool. I was like, this is gonna be the stupidest hack. I don't even wanna bother doing it. Like, it's so dumb. I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty cute. And then stand back and survey your work. Wow, would you look at that? Ooh, it looks really good. If you put it against the wall, it'll probably be more sturdy. But you can like display your shoes like this. And it doesn't take up that much space. Wow. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these was the coolest one that you would actually use. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.